hello guys so welcome again to another tutorial today i want to show you three motion graphics style logo animation right inside CapCut. in this style i'm going to also show you how you can use CapCut to stand out instead of using what is accessible to every creator so support me on this one do not forget to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel turn on the notification then come back let's get started now inside CapCut, we're going to start by creating a new project we're going to go to stock materials then once you are here we're going to select the first one which is a bg then we select the plus button right here to add it to our project the next thing we're going to do now is to scroll down scroll down until you find this motion graphic template under intros and outros then we're going to click the add button also to add it to our project this is it right here so we're going to put it on the overlay then if we play back right here we're going to scroll you can see that there's a lot of motion graphics pre-made right here that you can use so now what we're going to do is to first of all rotate this we're going to rotate it to negative 90 but however if you're using the vertical content creation so you can leave it to this so we're going to rotate that to 90 negative so that is going to give us the landscape so we're going to scale down to fit our project now we're going to scroll to the timeline and find where we can reveal our logo animation somewhere here so we're just going to cut it right here so on the timeline we're going to hold and trim it down to that spot somewhere close so what we're going to do right here now is to set a keyframe at this point for the opacity so we're going to set a keyframe for the opacity right here then we'll move to the end of the footage right here and set the opacity down to zero so that is going to give us this right now a display of motion graphics and then fade out so this is where we need to bring in our logo so we're going to go back to device and then hit import to import what we're going to use so this is our logo select and then bring in the logo so we're going to drag and also put it on the overlay right about this spot where the entire thing is starting up so we're going to trim this to fit the duration of our timeline then we're going to hold this and scale down make sure you scale down to what look nice to you to me this is okay so what i'm going to do right here from here from this point i'm going to set a keyframe for the scale and i'm also going to set a keyframe for the rotation all on the basic tab so i'm going to move back i will set the rotation right here to negative 90 then I will set the scale at this point to zero. So now if you play back now, this is what we're gonna have. Beautiful. Now we have a motion graphic style logo animation right inside CapCut. So you can tweak this around in case if you want this to happen very fast, you just need to move the keyframe backward more a bit to this point and then maybe move this forward just to have it speed up so if you play back now this is what you're gonna have beautiful so with this you can simply make a different and draw more attention to your content CapCut is all about speed so you can see within a short while you have created the first style so let's move to the second style of motion graphics logo animation so right inside CapCut again, we're going to go back to the stock media again. So all we're going to need here is just the background and then we'll add it to our timeline. After adding this to your timeline, this technique we're going to use here is a bit more custom. So we're going to go to the text. Then we're going to add the default text. Double click on the text on the preview window to highlight it. Hit caps to put your letters on caps, then just hit I. That is going to give you that. Then you release the cap. So first of all, you're going to stretch this to cover your project timeline. So after this, so we're going to go to scale. 
this font size right here and increase it to be very large so what we are going to achieve here is trying to use some of the element inside CapCut to create our own default or custom motion graphics in such a way that we can retain originality now after you have this we're gonna go back right here about this point from the beginning of your timeline then we're gonna scroll down and look for position so on the position right here we're gonna set a keyframe then we're gonna move like few frames forward very close like this then we're gonna set the position we just need to move it to outside your preview window so we can go back by holding shift on the keyboard and then scroll this back to the first keyframe so we still need to move this outside outside our preview so i'm going to leave it here because i need to scale this up more so if you scroll now you're going to see that this bar will move from the right to the left of your screen so that is relatively too fast so i'm going to hold select the keyframe right here and spread it on this so if we preview now let's see the speed yes beautiful i'm satisfied with that speed beautiful so all i need now is to increase the size using the scale so i'm going to increase the size using the scale right here and it's just feel free to size it to whatever you like so if you go back to the first timeline you see that we still have it visible right here just select it and move it out by holding down your shift that is when you are on the first keyframe so go to the second keyframe right here by holding shift and scrubbing to the timeline it is it is going to snap to that position select it also and move it outside your preview window so if you preview on this now you're going to see that that is what we have so what i'm going to do now is to select this hold down the alt key or option key if you're using mark drag and drop it right on top it's going to create a duplicate then we're going to need to offset it a bit so that this will happen at different time on the timeline if you preview now you see that so if you like you can duplicate this more than once so what we're going to do now is to change the color for the first one we're still going to go into the property of the font look for the color and then we can change this to whatever we like so i'm going to change it to simple light blue maybe this should be okay so i'm gonna go with this just to make a different from what i have on the other one beautiful so now let's bring in our logo we're gonna go to device then import we're gonna still use the same logo we use for this first uh, graphic style open then we're gonna drag and drop it and put it between the two graphics so we want this logo to be here so we can scale down to whatever we like it to look like on the size on the sizing i think i am okay like this so what we're going to do is to time this correctly we want the logo to appear just when this white is on top of this so we're going to trim this to that spot just when the white is directly over it then it can show so that is going to give us this beautiful you see the logo just appeared like that so we're gonna trim all of this to end exactly when our timeline is ending so if you preview now we're gonna have this beautiful but we can add more style to this if you add um, a transition so we're gonna select this then we'll go to animate that is we're gonna go to animation then we're gonna simply select one of these transition that works well with us so i'm gonna select this and make sure you're using the in tab so I'm going to select this. I love this. Beautiful. You see the way it has added style to this. So you can feel free to select most of this or whatever you want to see. And this is the second style. So let's move to the third style where you have much more control over all the elements you're going to use for the logo reveal animation right inside CapCut. And that is going to help you stand out in a very strong way using this motion graphic style to reveal your logo it will allow you stand out in a very unique way because you're going to use a third party software to create your pre-made motion graphics then use it to reveal your logo i'm talking about after effects because that is going to give you a whole lot of flexibility to create your motion graphics then use it to reveal your logo inside CapCut. 
That way you don't need to use the template they have right inside CapCut that every other person has access to using. So knowing after effect to make this will actually allow you stand up and you still come back to CapCut and keep using whatever you are doing right inside CapCut. Currently there is no default way of creating shape right inside CapCut apart from using the first technique that I have shown you and the second technique. So but this one allow you to stand up so let's try to see what it is but if you have any challenge creating your own default or custom element to match your brand you can watch some couple of tutorials on my channel and you get a way around it but if you still need my help feel free to drop a message and i'm very very willing to help you do some for free then we can talk if you need more so now let's go back now to see how this works and how unique this is going to stand out to match your brand so we're going to go to stock asset again that is stock matter that is stock materials so we still need the background so we're gonna add this to the project we we'll now go back to our device we import so here we're gonna import some of the assets I have made right inside uh, after effects so you can find a link to download this if you want to use this so open it we're going to drag and drop it right on top of our window of our timeline so if you scroll now you see the asset i have this is the first one so what i'm going to do is to move it right here then i'll still go back to import and import another one because that is not what i want to start with so i want to start with this one so click open then drag and drop it again into your timeline let me see yes this is one i want to start with so push it to the beginning of our timeline so we're going to go to the bg remove bg tab so we're going to go to chrome key make sure you check that then you pick the eyedropper to then you select this to remove the green now if you play it is transparent beautiful so now we're going to go in and import our logo again you see this a custom shape made right inside adobe after effect to match the brand so we're gonna drag this and drop it right here we're gonna make sure we scale this down go back to the basic tab and scale this down scale it down to the proportion you want to see so let's time it now so if you scrub right here where this is exploding that is when i want it to come up so what i'm going to do is to select this and go to the animation tab right on the right side of the screen i'm still going to go with the simple scale in because it's quite beautiful so now if you play back you will see that this has popped up the logo but with your custom made element so we're going to carry this right here and put it on top of this overlay so we're going to make sure we do the same thing to remove the background go to the remove bg tab then check the chroma key pick the eyedropper tool and then remove this so we're going to set the timing now so that this pops up just when the logo is scaling up so we're gonna move it back a bit so let's see what we have now beautiful so that is quite slow so let me still move it back so that i want it to come up just when beautiful you see you see how custom this is which is very 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 unique you can create more outstanding motion graphics right inside adobe after effects the way that matches your brand and it will help you stand out so let's preview this again and see so these are three motion graphic style that you can use to stand out with your content right inside CapCut. which one of these style do you think stand out the most for you and which one do you intend to use on your next project leave a comment for me and if you need my help also do not hesitate to leave a comment i'm gonna be right there to help you out with any custom shape that you want to create also you can check out other video to help you create your own custom at your own time if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel 
you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios